Let me tell you about Kings Point. It's a 55 plus gated community and it's staged around several lush golf courses. And that's where deputies say one man who lives in here apparently saw another man walking his dog too close to the golf course, which also reportedly enraged him to the point that he pulls out a gun, chases the guy behind a tree and shoots him in the leg. It was Sunday just before 7 p.m. when the peaceful quiet on the 15th hole of the Kings Point golf course was shattered by the sound of gunshots and retirees watching from their balconies were shocked to see a 74 year old man shooting at a dog walking neighbor. According to the arrest report, deputies arrived to find 64 year old Herbert Merritt lying on the ground, a gunshot wound to his left ankle. Nearby, they found Robert Levine with a black semi automatic handgun in his front left pocket. Merritt told deputies he was walking his dog on the grass next to the golf course when Levine rode up in his golf cart and Levine began causing a verbal altercation with him due to having his dog on the golf course. He then began shooting at him while Merritt was running away. According to the report, Levine chased Merritt around a tree while continuing to shoot. Merritt said he shot about five rounds at him. Merritt told deputies he had never seen Levine before, did nothing to provoke him, and he felt that Levine was trying to kill him. Witnesses told deputies they saw Levine kick Merritt in the head, go back to his cart and get a club, and begin beating Merritt with a club while holding the gun in his left hand. Deputies say they found shell casings on the ground and two golf clubs with what appeared to be blood on them. And uh, both men were rushed to the hospital. Merritt with non-life-threatening injuries after that beating and uh, being shot. Levine, for unspecified reasons not related to the incident, apparently he is still there because when I called the medical center, they transferred me uh, to the emergency ward and then a nurse refused to let me speak to him because I'm not related to him. He now faces attempted first-degree murder and other charges. Live in Delray Beach, I'm Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.